Tonight, we are hearing from businesses in Roanoke's Market Square. The owners there are frustrated, but what they say is a lack of security. They want a permanent police presence while the search for the man who stabbed two people there last night continues. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez is live. He's been working to get answers for that concerned community all day. Tommy. Yeah, there's going to be more of a police presence here in the Market Square area. You can see the Roanoke police car that's here now. There have been one to two here per day. It's more officers than normal. Many area business managers and owners say that they don't see police here as often as they'd like. And the problem of people, whether they're in the transient community or not, they come here, gather, and are disruptive is getting worse. And it's also affecting their business. Two all the way, two without. Two all the way, two Inside the Roanoke Wiener stand, workers are still talking about what they saw last night, describing gruesome injuries after two people were stabbed. It was just chaos. It was just like any other night. It was just, you just didn't expect it to happen. Manager Tanya George wants parking to return to the area to help limit the problems, even though she says it was a good idea for families to be able to sit outside. But they can't do that because there's more and more homeless people going out there and they sit out there and they drink, they, they smoke dope, they're doing drugs um, and they're cussing, fighting, just hollering, trashing the place up. And managers describe harassment. Certainly is a problem, particularly for people who are visiting our shops outside. Many managers say they would like to see more of a police presence to help stop the activity. They're cussing language and they're uh, just unruly manners with them. And we have to listen to it all day long, every single day. And we just finished speaking with Police Chief Tim Jones within the last hour. He says there's going to be an extra officer here in Market Square 24-7. We'll have more on their plan and the police response to this issue coming up tonight on 10 News at 6. Live in Roanoke, I'm Tommy Lopez, 10 News, working for you.